Sammy Langley. I am the director of nursing for Lairdall Medical and the development piece. And uh, this is our current project. Um, what we've been trying to do is bridge the gap in simulation between some of the mannequin level mannequins that we have in our simulators. There was a gap in our in our portfolio. So we actually developed this mannequin specifically for nursing. She's developed really focusing on the fundamentals of nursing and the health assessment piece. So she's heavy health assessment, heavy skills based, trying to help bridge some of that uh, some of those use models into a simulation piece. So if you're familiar with Nursing Anne, she's a, a little higher fidelity than that. She breathes and blinks and we've added a lot of anatomy and tried to bring in some realism pieces. So her skin is much more tactile. Um, she's got a spine and scapula. She's got a greater trochanter and an iliac crest. Um, clavicles, ribs for placement of ECGs and placements of subclavians. So we really worked hard to, to up the ante on the realism. Um, as you can see, she looks a little bit different than some of our others. She's, uh, she is a girl. Just kind of from a head to toe perspective, she does have an airway that's very familiar. It's based on our recessian. So she has an intubatable airway, as well as uh, she'll work with superglottic devices. She does NGs, OGs, nasal intubation, subclavian fluids. We've redesigned the reservoir system to make it much easier, a quicker setup for operations, as well as a better feel for students. So urinary catheterization, peg tubes, all of those systems are, are moving in. As you can see, she does have chest rise. We've made her bilateral. So she has bilateral carotids, bilateral brachial, bilateral radial, femoral, and pedal pulses. She has bilateral BP arms. She uses a SIM pad system or a LEAP system, so you can use the current operational systems that you're used to. Her legs are kind of a squishy material, and we've tried to hide all of the injection points. You actually have to know the anatomy that you need to find for those. In order to do a ventral gluteal injection, you have to know where the greater trochanter and the iliac crest is to be able to do those injections. Um, we've added anterior sounds and posterior sounds, and we have sound control in all four quadrants. So there's four front, four back, four bow to continue that movement. But she still has the physiological modeling system that, that operates on our system. So LEAP and SIMPAD, they're exactly the same. Uh, so we can do some higher level uh, simulation with those physiological modeling underneath. And the scenario systems work. Um, we still offer the NLN scenarios. They've been updated to work with her as well. Uh, still vocals, we still have the same vocal system, so we have the ability to, to answer simple yes or no questions through the computerized pre-response, as well as the um, vocals back and forth with the mic. Uh, we still offer the systems that surround her, so she's got an educational system, she's got a service uh, backing behind her, as well as the the, the other curriculum integration in those pieces that we offer. So that's her in a nutshell, and uh, we'd love for you to reach out and visit us at Lairdall.com.